train wreck. Do present charts actually get harder than fives? Hey guys, Aura, right, Alex, what's up? Got up unusually early this morning and so decided to put in a little bit of fragment grind since can't really play anything too intense right now. Figured this is a good excuse to get some easy clears out of the way. That fucking 10 frag first clear bonus every time. Makes me mad that the first clear bonus actually gets multiplied through uh, partner. I literally can't hit the buttons on the Sound Voltex controller with my right hand for longer than like five minutes before it starts flaring up and fucking screaming at me. Those things are heavy. But you, if I fucking slam on that shit, I bet you could hear it from across the apartment. I'd love to be playing Sound Voltex right now, actually. <laughs> that feel when you are a broken person. Zogs are always helpful, contributes. Just use your dick. Easy. I haven't set up to stream this in a while, so hopefully it's not on fire. So what I'm doing right now is basically trying to clear every song in the game at least once for uh, the first clear bonuses. It's per chart, not per song, so one clear on every difficulty is ideal. So as long as I'm fucking slow in my right hand... Good idea to get these out of the way. Cute vocals. Top secret layering technique. Named Sound Voltex clone has gotten any development recently. The guy actually contacted me and was like, hey, uh, I'm gonna fix the alphabetical search since you were complaining about it. Or the alphabetical sort, excuse me. Timing. 
You know drools from fucking before Elsword? Excuse me? <laughs> Aura asks, how do numbers in past, present, future tell difficulty again? Well, with exactly one ex exception that I know of in the game. Charts are rated 1 through 9 and 9 plus for super fucked up future charts. With past being the easiest difficulty, present being medium, and future being the hardest. The one exception that I am aware of is Frums' Drop Dead, which I'll have to turn this off for a second, actually has a present that's harder than the future. The future is there because of extreme speed change gimmicks that just make it an absolute pain in the ass to play, from what I understand. That was to fucking camera placement. Yeah, I don't know, it's 198 because Frums doesn't have to follow the rules, I guess. Also, the past chart of this apparently only has like 50 notes, which is really funny, so maybe I should do that right now. Sounds like fun. Let me actually check uh, unnamed sound voltex clone github.com. Huh, last commit three hours ago. Last release... 21 days ago. Score replays, FX chip key sounds, timestamp scores, score screenshots, mouse view scrolling on song, song select. Results screen shenanigans and Lua. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so let's play Drop Dead, the fucking one. This apparently doesn't even have enough note. Oh god. <laughs> nice speed mod. Why is Frums allowed to do this? <laughs> this is actually somewhat difficult to time. This chart cost me a dollar. <laughs> Truly breathtaking. <laughs> Layering worthy of Osumania. Also, this song's apparently 50 BPM. Yeah, no, slow jam, slow speed mod stuff is actually difficult as fuck. I mean, not this in particular, but it's harder than it would have been if it was scrolling at normal speed. Nice! <laughs> what a good chart! <laughs> I lost potential for that. Amazing. <laughs> I FC'd a one and lost potential. How does this system work? <laughs> Let's compare really quickly. We'll play the nine, which has no speed gimmicks from what I understand. When you far two notes and don't EX.
cool. I'm switching. I'm switching sides on these. Fuck it. I'll take the. I'll take the combo break. I'll take the break. I'm not gonna play this entire fucking section backwards. Stuttering really bad and audio is so delayed. Yeah, I noticed that the sync was really bad there. I feel like the uh, capture card might just be shitting itself really quickly. Let me take a look at that. Uh, I'll just restart it. I'm sitting here like, these, these streams aren't that dense. I can't possibly be that fucking off, right? Hopefully that's better. Let me just check. Should be around like 120. That was our, uh, welcome back to From's Wild Ride, I guess. Hopefully this is better. Yeah, you guys were hearing what I was hearing there. Also, without the stuttering. I don't know about any visual stuttering, that could just be like... I don't even know why that would be happening, it's like, this isn't exactly high resolution video. be as good a sync test as any. Dead if they like bought it and didn't know that all of the charts in it were a meme. Like the future's full of irritating speed changes. The uh, the past is oh, you saw it. It's that, and then the present is actually like stupid hard. It's dense, is what it is, and it's got that really stupid meme fucking southpaw arc section. Good song, though. Do lower difficulties have that, uh, that visual on incoming arcs? I see it. There. 
a little translucent thing on the uh, the sky input line there. Lara says it was visual stuttering. It's gone now, though. Sick. You know how it goes with early morning streams. Everything is always on fire. Watch that one, your phones. Let me grab a drink real quick. Says, man, I had a such a good such a good time at the Smash Ultimate Overnighter last night. It was a great event. Actually participating in community driven stuff that so like stage lists and striking system made me feel pretty good. That's cool. I'm glad you had a good time. Personally, I'm pushing for fucking battlefield only in terms of stage selection. Like now that no longer playing on the fucking like you can play on the same stage all the time and not get the same goddamn music every goddamn game. Smash 64 player, by the way. <laughs> None of that's not a problem. I see absolutely no reason not to go Battlefield every game. Oh, but some characters are better on Battlefield than others. Some characters are better than others. All, all rule sets are arbitrary. Battlefield's cool. Makes brackets faster to run. Less potential for error. The Lilat Jank. Then again, I'm also the person who is unironically advocating for one stock brawl towards the end of its life, so... I gotta pay more attention to the timing. If I can get a handful of pure memories, then... I think that actually significantly bumps up your performance bonus for fragments. says, we're thinking of doing a veto system instead of a strike system at the forge, testing the water. It's basically how to function is the loser suggests their counter pick stage and the winner has a chance to say either yes or no. I may only get two vetoes, so if they say no twice, the third stage of the loser suggests is the one they have to play on. That's weird to me because I feel like it introduces fucking, like, the order in which you present your possible counterpicks psychologically affects, like, which one your opponent is likely to allow. Which seems a little dodgy to me. The car says it's a slapper of a song. Yeah, dude, conflict is fucking good. It's old as shit, too. If you are late, adjust up. Alright, let's go to 140 and see about that, then. Hopefully this doesn't make things too obviously off on the stream.
The Arcana song list is actually really solid across the board. There's only a few songs that I don't like in here. All of them are more or less solid. And there are some fucking slappers in there. Mm, cute stage. I wish I could disable fucking mirror mode and the big long pop up that comes with it without also losing my partner fragment bonus. Wow, this is my favorite song. I love dubstep. <laughs> Nobody saw that or that. W some fucking arcs here. This pianist isn't getting paid enough. You want me on for the last four bars? Says. That's kind of the point he raised, that it's a small mind game in the sense that the Wii suggest your counterpick can trick an opponent into playing on a stage they would normally just ban. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if I'm into that. I feel like adding as little metagame as possible is generally desirable. I can see how it would appeal to people, but it's not a rule that I would like to run or participate in myself. But. Like, at that point, when playing under those suggestion conditions, I'd probably just let them play on whatever fucking counterpick they wanted. Like, the very first thing you suggest is like, fine, fuck it, I don't want to do this anymore, just play the game. Hey, already up to, like, 668. Yeah. Alright, because everything's test phase at this point. Yeah, that's important. It's definitely a good idea to, like... Experiment with some divergent rule sets while the game is still in its infancy. Really? Speed mod intro? Lord, are you serious? Okay, well, it's not their fault. It's whoever the fuck charted this. doing arcs with my middle fingers so that I can still use index for hitting those directly under without having to cross under an entire hand. 
Is this badly synced too? the sink on this either. That's upsetting. My right, so speed mods are fake skill. <laughs> Hashtag Unrakeable SVs 2018. Do you think anybody can convince Peppy to remove SVs from Mania at the same time he removes SVs from Catch the Beat on Laser? not that song's fault, actually. I guess my offset just slid, like, really badly. Huh. That's weird. Let me check on something for a second. Uh... HC60 Pro... Wave out. Huh. Maybe I ought to look into getting audio out from the device's, uh, headphone jack instead of going through HDMI. I feel like that might be introducing problems. In the meantime, it should be fine, though, I think. Oh, did we, uh, there we go. That's interesting. Yeah, it seems like the offset is sliding, which is weird. Hmm. Anybody want to try something silly with me? <sighs> Hold on with this shit. I have a plan. Wait, where did my HDMI audio go? Options go. Um, does not show up in demo mode or something? Maybe I gotta go to settings for it or something. Uh, HDMI. No results found, huh? Maybe if I just replug. Yeah, I get USB charging connected device. Huh, I wonder if like the carrier change affected that. I think if I plug in, uh, like if I plug in headphones, it'll give me the option to switch between outputs. Hmm, well, Maybe it's under audio. Take a wild guess here, because I know there used to be an option for me to switch whether it was outputting audio over HDMI or not. So. How to disable HDMI audio. Hey! That is 18 entire months from Twill, who says, open world. <laughs> I don't have appropriate sound to make for 
disgruntled Morgan and Turtleneck. Hmm. Well, you know how I could ostensibly do this, assuming I did not hate myself. Since the capture card is already hooked up to the HD, like if I switch my main monitor to HDMI, will Arkea just show up there? Can I use my monitor out? I totally can. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> So I can use the monitor audio out, but that means I still have to run it into my headphones while also getting audio from my PC. Or I can take the relatively easy route and just hook my PC up to my speakers while leaving Arkea on headphones through the monitor. Take a wild guess which of these two options I'm about to try for. Technically, I don't even really need PC audio for this. I can just like check notifications after every song, but. Oh, oh god! So there's a. Uh... There's a logistics issue involved here. I forgot monitoring. Um, so I'm not very smart. <laughs> I love my roommates. <laughs> um. All right. So I guess um, speakers stay off for now. Which is cool. Um, God, is there just some super generic way for me to combine two 3.5 maybe? Is the super smart person strat to like use my interface's other like I use ports 3 and 4 and monitor through that instead. Okay. So here's my official verdict, right? We're gonna worry about it later. In the meantime, well, first off, oh my god, I need to reduce the volume of my monitor out because it is the loudest thing on earth, even at 30. So I'll bring that down to like 10, 12. Man, I'm doing such a great job with my stream today. Alright. Go to the HD60 Pro. Capture audio only. Please turn back on. Okay. That is actually pretty reasonable. So I lose monitoring like this, but eh. you know I'll survive. And if it really came down to it, I could just like use my earbuds instead. But hey, so you guys can hear the game all right, I hope. Gonna make an offset change really quickly. Actually, I'll take a guess and I'll offset my, uh... That's actually the wrong place to do it. 
fact, I should do it here. Okay, so I'll offset the HD60 Pro audio by 50. I don't know how much latency the actual card has associated with it, but I figure I can just take a fucking guess, right? Okay. So, now that that's hopefully resolved, it's weird not being able to hear myself in my ears, but I suppose... I wonder if there is a way to solve that. Like, I have my interfaces 3.5 out, and I have my monitors 3.5 out, and I just need to combine those in... The smart person? These are hybrid jacks, right? What if I just fucking... Oh, no. Can it... Okay, so... Wait. So use an aux cable and route the monitor out to input 2 on my interface. And since input 1 and input 2 are monitored using the same setting, I should be able to hear my microphone. Ah, uh, fuck it. Later. Video games. By later, I probably mean like in three seconds. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Cool sync test. Nobody knows. I forgot they don't even use uh, the other dimension of arcs until present. I feel I'm waiting for these things to drop down and they just don't. Says nice layout. I can never tell whether that's sarcastic or not. Achievement unlocked. Forever. <laughs> I'm the best. That uh, 660 pure one lost. It's very good. Six forty three perfect there. That's cool. The house sink and everything. We're doing good. I 
I almost feel like this HDMI out has less latency than the fucking actual screen of my phone, which is super weird. But what's really funny is that it's 21.9 output rescaled to the 16.9 display. So I've got this completely normal ass 16.9 game just double letterboxed. It's weird. And the sync is alright. Okay. I think something fucked up. Just to like wake myself up. <laughs> Every time I hear those fucking vocals, I lose my mind, but I don't even know why. Here's where we're getting to the charts that I might actually fail on a site read. Let's do model list fuck it. I didn't even look at fucking Newt's suggestion. So it's good to know that we have the same fucking taste that is the objectively best kind. I can't rotate my wrist enough to show off the thumbs up on the right hand, but, uh, left we're good. Hey! You stop that. Stop that right now. God, this chart is so cool. Yeah! <laughs> hey, it's the best, too. Lucky me. God, that chart is so fun. <laughs> it's my brain the entire time. Can we go for some, like, Improvements or decent clears here. Trapolo is a piece of shit. Actually, you know what? I should try again. Now that I have decent offset. Okay, conflict's still gonna crush me. Like that—that's not even like a thing. But yeah, drop that is by far my shittiest present clear, mainly because it's a fucking nine in the middle of there. Why 
Lyra, 15 months, says, uh, Merc Christmas ass. Thanks, I think. <laughs> Merc Christmas ass. You know how long it took for me to unpack that as a corrupted fucking pronunciation of Merry Christmas? I stared at it for like 15 seconds, convinced that you were having a furry awakening. Thank you very much. There says, I fucked up, it's supposed to be tier 3. <laughs> nice! That's okay, you're always tier 3 in my heart, Lara. my brain that's horrible <laughs> it says drop dead aka press play to die instantly dude it's okay so if you're getting in here late then you missed my explanation of why Drop Dead is awesome. But, uh, let me just remove this to point out that the present chart is a 9 and the future is an 8 and the past is a fucking <laughs> And yes, you can hold on sky lasers, but I think there's some kind of protection where if you just like put 10 fingers down, it won't count any of them. So you can't cheat it like that. But yeah, at the, end, at the very, very end there, you can totally hold it. It's just weird that you can. You know, I've got some present clears to work out too. I've got plenty of first clear bonuses laying around here. It's just that a lot of these require more fragments to unlock than they'll give for uh, completion. So I try not to do low difficulty unlocks generally. Let's play some present charts. Also, this is a cool looking stage. I like the color scheme.
I love free points. Like if anybody's got any requests, I should have at least one difficulty of almost everything unlocked. World mode exclusives, uh, not so much for those because world mode is terrible and I play it not as much as the game wants me to, but... Should probably at least should have do a little bit of partner leveling here. Who do I want to actually level? Uh, 70 francs, so maybe I could pump some XP into Shirabe. What is your fucking skill? I don't remember. I actually have no goddamn idea. Like, I got a character for world mode progression now, but. I'd like to, at some point, have, like, maxed uh, Geo Pyritsu or something for Fragments. Which means I have to actually at least, like, finish Chapter 1. So speeding towards that would probably be a better idea than dumping XP into Shirabe, who we'll probably never use anyway. I don't think she's even Hard Gauge, which is, like, the only thing that interests me at this point in terms of partner skills. Like, Hard Gauge and, and uh, High Fragment stuff is pretty much it. Anyway, world mode is fucking horrible. <laughs> so I guess I'll play plus this, and... It's tempting to burn fragments on it, but I really shouldn't. But those, two, those should be for unlocks, for sure. So this is at least an excuse to play the hardest shit I can pass. I wonder how Trap Bubble feels on Decent Onset. Cause I'm not gonna lie, the game feels a lot better to play on, like, low and consistent offset. Yo, <laughs> Trapola's still trashing me, okay. I think now that I like remember the general structure of the ending sliders, it shouldn't be so bad, but man, I just got trashed. And yeah, the game might be a little bit loud. I, Oh yeah, the HD60 is at minus 7.5, probably should be more like minus 9. Plus well, I'm kind of soft-spoken right now because I can't hear myself. But... I don't want to scream to wait for the mix up or anything. I can do a one stamina play this round things out. 
That's the thing I haven't done yet. Maybe one of the new songs that I've had recently. No nine pluses. That's just a waste of stamina right now. Fine, I'll put a drop dead eight. Fuck it. Hope you guys like 50 BPM hybrid trap. Super fun speed mods. Is this Morse? I bet it is. Hey, don't think I don't know what you're fucking up to. Okay. Okay. That was really tough to read. Very, very cool chart. <laughs> All right, I'm never playing that again. <laughs> Only 20 years until I get to the fucking last song of this chapter and I can finally start making progress on GL Tairitsu, whose world mode chapter is probably 20 steps of fucking 100 progress each. Because go fuck yourself. I guarantee you that's what it is. I'm down to relax a little bit after that. <laughs> Fucking speed change arcs got my blood boiling. I like the altitude warnings that arcs have on present difficulty, and I wish it was... Well, I wish that was present in future. Hardy har.
I really don't think there's any reason it shouldn't be. If it's for difficulty reasons, then it seems kind of arbitrary. And if it's to decrease clutter in difficult sections, well, uh, Drop Dead 9 proves that that's really not necessary. I don't think about it. Drop Dead Present is the only nine with those uh, markers. And they seem to work perfectly fine, although maybe it would be a little bit more difficult to uh, tell what was going on on uh, something like Trapola. I say Trapola because it's got like 500 altitude changes in three seconds. See that fucking finger switch? I'm the best. I wonder if I can contact the developer and be like, hey, put that shit in. the easy button and I didn't hear it because my fucking speakers are off. <laughs> There's a strange emptiness in me right now. Izzy says there are three level 9 presents. Oh shit, am I stupid? Is it... Is it fucking Axiom Crisis and GL that are uh, level 9 presents as well? All songs... Fucking... Sort difficulty. Drop dead GL and then the other anomaly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. God, I wish I didn't have to fucking do world mode to unlock those. Like, I'm fine with secret unlock conditions. I'm just not fine with secret unlock conditions that are gated behind a grindy real-time bullshit system. Like, there's one thing that I can say against Arkea. It's a wonderfully made game, but world mode does not respect your time at all. Like, if you're trying to unlock just purely as a free-to-play, which, I mean, I don't think you should have access to all the content in the game as a free-to-play. I feel like it's important for, like, the game's got to receive something financially if they're going to keep pumping out song packs and updating. But like, the fact that there's no way for me, as someone who is willing to pay, to just like, hey, here's 20 bucks, turn off world mode so I don't have to deal with it. You don't have to do world mode for GL? Oh, I was mistaken then. What are the wrecks? I guess I just mean world mode unlocks in general, but... Even if it's not GL in particular. I haven't played a set of this now. Let me give that a try. I've got a bad mentality too. I'm the type of person who's like wanting to push for clears at all costs, and I don't really do a lot of low difficulty score attack accuracy stuff. being so much nicer on present and future. I 
come down staunchly on the, like, reading difficulty is not real difficulty side of things, though. Well, arbitrary reading difficulty, I guess. I don't subscribe to, like, the fucking Guitar Hero hyperspeed is cheating stuff. As you can imagine, I have some problems with modern DDR philosophy as well. Seems familiar. Never been a fan of uh, stop gimmicks. It's super funny to watch other people do it, though. Fucking wins back 0.5x. This gamer laptop is a really big right control key for some reason, as big as shift. Huh. I have never heard of a layout like that. Then again, with top tier gaming hardware, anything is possible. Please shoot me if I ever say anything like that ever again. Gimmick? future better not pull this. I just don't understand why the entire chart has fucked up scroll speed. Who is this benefiting? song though. I'll probably just look up the anomaly shit later if you don't actually need world mode for them.
When I say I appreciate secret unlocks, I mean I appreciate secret unlocks for other people. <laughs> or more, I guess, I like the idea of secret unlocks as kind of like a community, like, source challenge sort of thing. But I want everything, man. I'm a fucking hoarder. Just in my nature, I guess. What are we doing here? Uh... Do difficulty, and I'm good. I wish you could do these descending as well. This strike is, yep. World mode. World mode. World mode. World mode. This is what I mean. I'd gladly uh, pay up to just delete world mode from the game and unlock all those. So. For whatever reason, they feel like making me go to the free-to-play grinder even though I actually want to throw them money. Which is a rare achievement. You feel like whenever I play RK, I always re I'm always reduced to complaining about this. Because to me, it's like the one flaw apart from maybe the fucking lack of, uh... Elevation arc markers on future. In a game that I otherwise really enjoy. Well, that and Revit the Black Room. That song can fuck off. Says complain on the App Store. Uh, I've complained in somewhere that should hopefully be a little bit more visible to the developers, but the general response seems to be, well, it's actually not that bad. So I feel kind of drowned out by it. Oh well. Is that my lowest score? Did Metallic Punisher just fucking destroy me? That's good. World mode. Like, ah! Uh. Maybe I'll raise my complaints again, though. Like, Play Plus is a step in the right direction because it allows you to, like, Finish your three daily plays in one shot, and you can pump fragments in to make the grind faster. But it's still like. 
So what's going on, right, is that... So world mode is the only place you can unlock a, a good amount of songs. The ones, any free song that's added through an update is gonna be in world mode. And with regards to progression in world mode, all you've really got is your fucking one play every hour that counts towards uh, world mode. And then add to that your, um, your partner's step bonus and however much you're willing to dump into refilling stamina. You can use 50 cents to regain 6 stamina and give yourself 3 plays. That's basically a credit in world mode. Or you can use a thousand fragments, which I believe is only available like once a week or something. It might be more frequent than that, but I guess the intent is to prevent people from saving up fragments to mass spam events with for free. But what gets me about it is that during world mode plays, you don't earn fragments, and fragments are what you need to fucking unlock the higher difficulties the songs you get in world mode anyway. So you play in standard mode to get fragments, and of course, the partners that give you high amounts of steps in world mode don't give you fucking high amounts of fragments. You've got to level two different partners, which you can only do in world mode. So you have to handicap your progress to level a fragment partner if you want to do it that way. Or you just have to sit there and sit for set off more fragments fad. Biggs corrects me once per day, according to them. And so while all this is happening, your partners don't even gain experience while you're in standard mode. So everything is behind the stamina gate. And this is in a game that's also charging what I'd consider probably not enough for its um, premium songs, I suppose. Stuff that's genuinely gated behind uh, cash. Like, you cannot acquire these songs otherwise. And half the time, when you buy a song pack, if you buy something from the main story packs, Bits of it are in fucking world mode locks anyway. <laughs> so what is the fucking point? This isn't engaging. World mode doesn't have interesting challenges like fucking CS DDR uh, mission mode, stuff like that. There's no progression structure to it. You just play shit and worse. The way you earn steps in world mode is proportional to the difficulty of the song you choose, but also your results in it. So when you're doing your daily world mode plays, you're not encouraged to push for clears or play stuff that's like at the edge of your skill level, because it's weighted way more towards being able to hit like 9.8, 9.9 on safe, easy plays. So it's literally set up to be as uninteresting as possible, with the most interesting thing that ever happens in world mode being, oh hey, in this section up here, if you happen to land here, which you can now skip with Flight Plus anyway, those red tiles, you'll be restricted to a certain song. That's it! There's nothing interesting about it, but you're forced through it anyway, and the only way they consider it acceptable for you to pay to skip is to pay for stamina. That's not okay. I shouldn't... You're gonna... You're gonna accept my money to try and speed this grind up so I can get more songs. You know, the songs that I'm willing to pay you for. But then you're going to make me go through the system anyway. <sighs> RSS, but you can just pass mode those restrictions anyway for some reason. Yeah, it's not like it's a difficulty check, which I think is probably the correct way of doing it. If you weren't able to progress in world just because you suck at the game, like... 
that would be pretty dodgy. Like, so let me put it this way. If the arcade developers allowed me to purchase a $60 unlock that turned off world mode and auto-completed everything, maybe even leave world mode events. Events are kind of cute. It's like, hey, I'm working towards something tangible that usually isn't related to, like, permanent... It's not like missable songs or anything, it's just, like, partners and stuff. It's silly stuff. Sometimes partners with cute gimmicks, like the one that fucking... It's hard gauge and it starts, like, draining your fragments if you fail, but she has a super high frag stat. It's like, those are kind of interesting. I'm willing to play events for those, but, like... I never want to feel like I have to play a game on a schedule to progress like this. And... Paying to bypass it through stamina? just makes me feel stupid, like I'm paying to grind. And worse is I'm paying to grind in an ecosystem where if I want to get the most out of my money, what I have to do is play safe, easy clears over and over and over again. It's like I'll show you, this is what, like... This is the world mode strat, you had a fucking... What is my max grade? I've got this lovely little 8 here that I can hit 999 on like 50% of the time. And this will give me like a 10.2 result, like it's multiplied through uh, step modifier. And it's like, it's a fun chart and it's a nice song. because it became optimal for me to fucking farm with when I was doing world mode every day like on cooldown I started to hate it by the way this is a really easy aid if you wanna copy my strategy section that's basically just free points as long as you like understand how to move your hands says, yeah, I was gonna say, looks about as hard as presents. Yeah, unless you have problems with those uh, Skynote chords for some reason. This is like basically a free 9.9 .9, as far as I'm concerned. It's good for potential farm too, which is weird. Also, potential is fucking stupid, but it doesn't like actually affect the way you play the game. It's like... Oh, the pointless number is implemented badly. Well, no one really cares, so... <laughs> but yeah, you get a 10.1 through that, multiply it through a decent step modifier. It's probably, like, the most painless overall way to progress. <laughs> the rhythm minute is so fucking regular that you can probably do it muted while you're, like, on the couch or something.
And it is a good song. Yeah, this partner is obtained through world mode. See? This is the shit that I'm talking about. Come on. Even the collab packs have fucking world mode chapters. I want to talk to someone who is motivated by the system because I I fundamentally don't get it. I don't understand what there is to be like. I don't know. Yeah, let's not die to nature again. This crashed me earlier today when I bought it. But I feel like it's probably yeah. Like I got eight six on it. You tried red and blue future. Give that a shot. Feel free to make requests while I'm fucking going on impotent rants, by the way. Oh yeah, red blue trash to make fucking 8-7. Maybe with a better offset in a couple like, attempts I could probably go for it though. And yeah, Aura, what gets me is that world mode definitely does feel super arbitrarily extended because nothing happens in it. Like, if it was, like, fucking DDR mission mode, I'd be all over that. I'm sliding around a little bit even on the cloth here. All of that. That was my fault entirely. Yeah, 8-6 again. Those are some really fun patterns. They're just tough to read, like, the first time. I feel like I could do better on this with a little bit of practice, but I don't know. I did definitely fail at zero life. Not entirely sure that the clear is in my immediate future. <laughs> immediate future. Archaea joke. Fucking phone case. Yeah, ten bucks says I left it at phrase or something. Silly. Ah well. The slide isn't too bad. You know what I can probably just do is. Feel like just sandwich this between. Aha! <laughs> Perfect. This ought to keep it super stable, actually. Plus, hey, wrist rest. God, I'm not gonna be able to see shit when I do crossovers, though. Let's we'll see. 
Fuck you. Face of shit song. I'm mad about it. Okay, this is the one that really gets me, though. Nothing happens in this entire track for like four minutes. <laughs> This seems neat. So I need to clear Hall of Mirrors and... Uh... Okay, so everything from the Tone Sphere pack, probably. Yeah, but that's it. Alright, let's give Hall of Mirrors a try. Tricky arcs, actually. Long arcs of free points. Seriously, the ending of this thing is worth almost 100k on its own. Look at that. Wild scoring. Alright, I need something else to brace this against so it doesn't slide left or right either. I hate the feeling this is gonna get complicated. But <laughs> the end result of this is me just putting my phone in a fucking box. What was the strat I had last time? Alright. a little more stable. Now, maybe I'm a cloth, though. Hmm. So then I just take this and weight it down. And that should be pretty decent, actually. Let's go with that. I don't think that uh, web artisans is going on. 
new mod function already? Damn, that was fast. <laughs> he had added mods to Astro in like four seconds. Nice! <laughs> Let me check the four on the one again. I'm apparently part of yet another PSO2 project despite not actually playing that game. I feel like the development community for PSO2, none of them play PSO2 anymore. A second page of the uh, thread here. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Maybe I should ping getting Jose about that. for this morning. Some things to think about and a little bit of preparation to do before uh okay. <laughs> yeah and just fucking drops in the okay so i guess if you're here then like we can talk about this right here like i don't really know 
Like, yeah, Bamlet's not cheap, someone has to pay for it. I feel that. But also, you are literally the ones hosting the English patch. If we could mirror, I could literally host it on a box I've already got, but... And then the irritating piece of infrastructure... I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, we can mirror, but then we'd have to pull from it constantly anyway. So it just becomes this really ugly thing where we basically just pull every 10 minutes and fucking re-download the entire English patch. And it's like... I mean, sure, I guess ostensibly this might be better. Because, like, Astra pulling an outdated patch is not okay, even if it happens, like, very rarely in, like, edge case time windows, so... I don't know, what do you think of this? It seems like- it seems to me like the fair way to answer this is, alright, set up something where I can actually check whether there is a new English patch, and I will mirror it for Astra. they could make the access to the actual patch files open. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Uh, like, I want to respond in a level-headed way to this, but, like... Your patch, if you don't want to make it a community resource, then kind of... I don't know, I feel like it's on them to accept it being mirrored at that point, but we can talk about building something that... Like, we're hotlinking from you because you don't provide any other opportunity for us to, like, actually integrate with you. I don't know, this is shitty because I don't want to make anyone, like... I don't want to make anybody's life harder. But... Eh. I kind of want to respond to this quickly, so it, like, uh, it's apparent that we take this seriously. So for context, for those of you who haven't been following along, we're developing an alternative uh, English language patcher for uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. There's already a community-run patcher. Basically, a uh, English language uh, team called Arc Slayer works on a lot of the development resources for this game, like uh, patches and a lot of launcher stuff, etc. But it's all uh, closed source, and so working with that outside of the box is weird. I don't know. I I really want to respond to this right away, but. I want to make sure that it's, like, level-headed and fair. So let me close this right away, actually. dealing with this, I think I'm gonna drop the Discord. I was probably done with Rhythm Games for the day anyway, so... I guess I'll catch you guys later today for, uh, KAC. We've got, um... I think it's Zara's game up today. Which is... I'm, I'm gonna have to ask him about a couple things before we start. <laughs> 
but yeah, we'll see. Adios, guys.